Hello, this is Frida. I would like to share this uh, tutorial with you. It is, as I promised a year ago, it is the famous How to Crochet the Crocodile Cardigan. So, <laughs> let's get started. Okay, I'll be using this yarn. It's about 50 gram. And I bought it at my local yarn shop. And uh, I think the regular price was like six fifty, and it went down to a dollar. So please do check your local store shops in the area that you live in, because uh, um, I went to Walmart. The like you can't even find these yarns there, and the prices are like oh my god, like six seven dollars a ball. And I also went to Michaels. You have to have that coupon to get the forty percent off for only one yarn and it's like the prices are up to nine dollar so anyways I checked my local yarn shop and I bought these gorgeous yarn for a dollar so I'll be knitting these I have over 10 balls of this yarn that I stacked here just wanted to show you so please do check your yarn shop in your area your local yarn shop because they do have sales, like this the gorgeous merino yarn is only for a $1.99. Uh, it doesn't say how much it was regular, but like these are over $5. And uh, yeah, do check your yarn shop in your area, because these are great deals. Like this 100% cotton, I only paid $1.99, which the regular price is over 5 bucks again. It says uh, here. 350 went down to 350 yeah so um, I'll be using this yarn it's uh, the brand name is Sirdar Denim Tweet but please remember most of these yarns are from Turkey uh, they only changed the label and put their names under so uh, wherever you go if you check the label the yarns are in the back it says made in Turkey so just wanted to show you my how much yarn I bought and I only paid like just under a hundred dollar for all this yarn and I have these gorgeous cotton yarns that I can figure out what to make but I will try to make something out of them and I'll share it with you so uh, let's get started with this gorgeous laylock uh, yarn we'll be crocheting the uh, crocodile stitch cardigan We're going to be measuring this baby cardigan so I can make the same measurements. So what you do is whatever uh, sweater you have just measure it or cardigan, cardigan that you have, just measure it, chain as many chains we're going to be crocheting from down to top. I tried to figure out for months how to crochet from top to down but it doesn't work that way. The crocodile stitch works from down to top, down to up. So what we need is we're going to be crocheting the straight. So I just grabbed this uh, baby cardigan that I have on this video I'll be showing you how to crochet the crocodile baby stitch using using this cardigan. If you want to make one for yourself just grab one of your cardigans or boleros or which you like just measure it and uh, go from there. Okay so I'm just gonna start from here Hair is stuck there. Wow, it's not good. I'll just pull it out later. Okay. So I'm not going to count how many chains we have. We're just going to figure it out because there's no written pattern on this particular 
to, to uh, this cardigan that I'll be crocheting. So chain as long as from here to there to the end and uh, we'll figure out from there how it's going to go. Okay, so far I have crocheted all the way. Now what we're going to do is, I crocheted an extra three stitches. So yarn over, just crochet. So one, two, three, go to the fourth stitch. And we're going to pull them all at once. I'm going to make this not big, so I'm not going to uh, pull at three or two. So I'm just going to pull at once. So this is considered as uh, we're just getting ready to crochet the crocodile stitch. So first I'm going to be crocheting the layers how and then when we come back we're going to fill these in. So don't uh, chain or anything. Just skip one, two, three. So fourth. Skip to the fourth stitch and then do the same like this but chain one here remember we chain three so two is considered one of the stitches and one is the chain so chain one again at the same take them all at once okay so don't chain skip to the fourth one two three four take them all at once. Chain one again. Do the same thing. So continue crocheting like this all the way to the end and I'll meet you at the end. Okay, so far I have started the foundation of this cardigan that we're I'm going to be crocheting with you guys. So we did the V's to start to start the crocodile stitch cardigan. Okay. So I did the last V. If you notice, if when you're crocheting, I said skip four, but if you see that it's too tight, you can skip three. And on this tutorial, oops, the phone is ringing. So, sorry about that. The phone started to ring. Okay, I'm uh, now the dog is barking. <laughs> it's so hard to take uh, t tape. <laughs> okay, I, I do apologize, but I can't stop the nature, right? Okay, so uh, uh, like I said, we started the foundation. We did the V's, and here what we're going to do is we're going to be turning our work and filling these V's. To do that, chain total of three. Uh, you don't even have to turn it. So we're going to be filling it. I think three is too much. Let's do two chain. And then we're going to be filling this total of four. So that chain two is considered one, two, three, and then four. So chain one, chain one, <laughs> and then skip to the, the other side of the V. We're just doing the crocodile stitch. It's very easy, but it uses up lots of yarn. Uh, earlier I mentioned the uh, yarn. I'm using a 3.5 uh, crochet hook. It is a US uh, F. Uh, croquet, uh, crochet hook. So one, two, three, four. And if you say, like I'm doing, uh, I'm not uh, pulling by a two or three, I'm just doing the one. Uh, if you see, if you think it's too small, you can do it with two. But this is going to be a baby cardigan, so I want it as small as I can. 
So jump to this stitch with the okay. So we're going to be filling. So what we're doing is just doing the regular cro uh, crocodile just stitch. Skip one and fill out the second V. Skip one, skip the second V, fill out the next one. So two, three, four. Chain one and go to the second, the other side of the V and fill that one with total of uh, Four, one, two, three, four. And skip. And continue doing that. I think I made something wrong here. Let me fix this. So far it looks like this. Skip the second V and fill out the third, the following V. Skip the uh, uh, following V and then fill out the following. So continue crocheting all the way to the end and I'll meet you at this end. I have crocheted all the way. Now we're going to be doing the second row. Actually, it's the third row. So we're going to build the foundation to crochet the crocodile stitch. So chain three. And on the same spot. Skip to the next one. No chaining, just one chain between. So what we're doing is we're chaining where we did the V's in between. We're building the foundation. So chain one, skip to the next one. So continue crocheting the V's all the way to the end. And we're going to be crocheting the crocodile stitch as it's going to be the second row. So crochet on the, if you look at the back, you see the V, so crochet between, well, there's one chain, so crochet one, and then chain one. And then crochet again as uh, chain one. As we're doing, it's not a uh, single crochet, it's not double crochet, so we're pulling all at once. Yeah, and I'll meet you at the end. So far I have crocheted all the way. What we did is, I'm repeating again, what we did is we uh, half crocheted, chain one, half crocheted, and then skipped to the V where we did the chain and then we built out, uh, we built the second row of the V foundation. So what we're going to do is now we're going to be crocheting the crocodile stitch, the second row. So uh, I did the last one up here. So what we're going to do is we're just going to, uh, as you can see from here, so we're going to be chaining one. So we're going to be chaining one. And what we're going to do is we're going to be crocheting, filling here. So what we're going to do is we're going to skip one and then fill, skip one and then fill. So to, to do that, we need to skip the first stitch. So we're going to be jumping here. Don't worry, we'll fill that on the, on the third uh, crocodile stitch. So just pull half. So continue doing four half stitches like this. Oopsie, I went down again. And then chain one turn to work and then fill the following half stitch and then continue filling total of four four half stitches 
and then jump here and then single crochet and then fill the following. So we're jumping one and then filling the following stitch. One, two, three, four. This is just regular crochet, uh, crocodile stitch. So continue doing this all the way to the end. And then after that we're going to be uh, building uh, the third row of the crocodile stitch foundation making the V's and I'll meet you up the, up here to uh, show you how to start filling the first and then skipping one and then go from there. Uh, just want to show you one of my baby booties that this is how it's going to look like. So when we do the cro crocodile stitch it's going to be built in one after another to make the card again and I'll meet you when we're doing the third row of the crocodile stitch. Okay so far I have crocheted the second uh, row of the crocodile stitch and now I have uh, uh, crocheted the foundation of the V's so we're going to be starting to crochet the third row of the crocodile stitch. So from here, I know right now it doesn't look perfect because it's we're just starting, but I made the baby booty, the crocodile baby booty, and you can see it's the more you add up, it's going to be squeezing and it's going to be nice and neat. So this is only the second row that has been done, but it will get better and uh, will look perfect like this. Okay, so what we do from here is, uh, let me just adjust this. As we did the first row, we're going to be chaining total of two and then filling the V on this side, chaining one and then a half crocheting another four and then from there single crochet here jump it and then filling here and then single crochet filling here jump single crochet filling here so this is we're, we're going to be continuing to doing this way and I did show you the second row how we did the jump see as you can see you don't see anything nothing at all so don't worry about it as more we crochet these will be filled and then uh, the stitch will cover here as we did the second row we did chain one and then we jumped here and did the four, uh, remember we did the four half crochet chain one and then four half crochet, half crochet so nothing to worry about and then you do continue like this so I'm gonna let you uh, crochet all the way, just grab one of your sweaters or your cardigans or which you like to make and then here on this on my measurement on this cardigan I will be uh, crocheting uh, not many because this is going to be a baby cardigan right so about maybe six more inches not even six maybe four so that would be another five rows of crocodile stitch so I'll meet you up here and then uh, we will go from there so far I have crocheted all the way to the underarms so I fold it in half so when you go open it it is bulkier than knitted and and you I would like to let you know that um, knitting crocheting is uh, you use two to three times of yarn as knitting so uh, I finished one ball and this is the second ball it's almost finished up to the underarm so please be aware you're going to be need, you're going to be needing lots of yarn to create this uh, to crochet this crocodile stitch cardigan and especially if you're making uh, for an adult you're going to use lots of yarn so um, I have crocheted up to here when you hold when you fold it you can see 
So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go back. I crocheted all the way here and we're going to go back and continue in crocheting. Continue to crochet back and forth to finish one side of the cardigan and then we're going to come back and crochet this side and then when we are finish this one we're going to crochet this side. So when you fold it you need to put some space between the underarm so don't go all the way to underneath so just leave a space remember when you're knitting or when you're crocheting you uh, cast off stitches when you're doing the underarm so as for this one too after when we uh, crochet the sleeves we're going to be joining the sleeves to the body therefore we need to uh, just leave, I would say, leave about two crocodile stitch between the underarms, so there would be plenty of uh, room to uh, join the underarm, uh, uh, join the sleeves. Okay, so continue crocheting like this, back and forth, but another thing, do not forget, uh, when we're doing the neck area, we're going to be giving a little bit of uh, neck opening here. So to do that we're going to do the same thing on the crocheting. So we're going to leave a room here and then make a little uh, round to give the neck area. But I will come back and show you how to do that. So uh, continue crocheting. I would say uh, maybe three inches more and then uh, later on we'll do the the neck area. Okay, so continue and uh, I'll meet you at the neck area. I have crocheted and finished this side of the neck area. So uh, for this one I'll, on the uh, left side I will show you how to do it. So what I did is as we crochet the crocodile stitch, this is the back of the work, as I did I put some, uh, you can use uh, anything just to show this is this part's going to be the uh, underarm so I left total of uh, two crocodile stitch between here and I started crocheting the back but I, didn't, I finished the ball. So this is the third ball, just to let you know. Okay, and here again, I marked, and I'll be knitting back and forth. This is going to be the back of the cardigan, back and forth up to here, and then we'll just leave it when we come to the current height, as this one. Okay, so if you look at it, you see the neck area on this. Just want you to see it's night here as I I am crocheting this cardigan as I'm taping so I'm trying to show you how the details go. Here. Okay so what I did is I crocheted I crocheted back and I single crocheted a couple of stitches and I continued to crochet back and forth and I uh, didn't crochet one crocodile stitch so what I did is I did less so a total of one, two, well this is actually two uh, this is a one, uh, one, two crocodile stitch and this is one one. So what I did is two, one, one to give that nice curvy neck area. So what we're going to do is we're going to do the same here. We're going to give that nice uh, neck area, curb area. So what I did is I, uh, I started the V's and what I'm going to do is I'm going to single stitch and then skip this one and then start doing the crocodile stitch on this stitch. So what we'll do is we're going to be skipping one crocodile stitch to, to create that neck area. Okay, so I'm 
Okay. Let me figure this out. So we did the V half crochet, one chain, half crochet. So we're going to chain one and then turn our work and this single crochet here. And then what we're going to do is we're going to continue doing the crocodile stitch going back and forth. We're going to jump jump here. So just continue doing the crocodile stitch. And when we come back on top, we're going to skip the one crocodile stitch as if here to create that that neck area. So continue doing this back and forth and then skipping one crocodile stitch and then after you do a total of uh, this is how we did one, two, three, three crocodile stitch so skipping three to create that V and then we continue crocheting the crocodile stitch with one, two, three, three rolls and then we just finish the work and this is the shoulder area. So continue crocheting the neck area and when you're done like I showed you on the back area just figure out like I said I skipped total of uh, two crocodile stitches here and here to create that underarm and then whatever is left uh, you continue crocheting the the back and then crochet as many as you have crocheted the sides of the crocodile and when you fold it you will be done. Either you can uh, use this as a vest or you can, uh, well I'm going to show you how to do the sleeves but uh, you can leave it and uh, put buttons on here and then uh, use it as a vest or we're going to be doing the sleeves and adding the sleeves later on. So I'll meet you and uh, I'll go back and go over it if you want or you can rewind and, and look what I tried to explain to you and I'll see you later. I have crocheted now we're done as you can see this is how it will look like so what we're, I'm going to show you how to join by crocheting the front and the back okay I'm just gonna grab my crochet hook and uh, Give you a closer look. Hope it's not blurry. Okay. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to be doing the single crochet method and chaining. So from the first stitch that we did, the fronts has to look at each other. So single crochet between um, between the loops here, the chains or the the stitches. If you can see the V's here, there's the V's. So grab a stitch from there and grab a stitch from here from the other side, and then just single crochet. Okay, and chain total of two. I would go with two, not have it bigger than longer than two. And then just grab the edge and then grab another edge from the other side. But be careful so it can be all equal. So single crochet and then chain two more. And just grab a stitch from here or a, one of the V's from there from the front end from the back and then single crochet and this will look it will look like this so continue doing this I have crocheted the two sides the two shoulders and I weaved them so all you have to do is cut so there won't be nothing popping up I don't like yarns popping up. 
So just cut whatever is left and how it's nice and clean. And when, you, when we turn our work, our uh, cardigan, this is how it will look like. Nice and clean. Okay, so we're done the body. Now we're going to work on the sleeves. What we need is, again, I work with measuring. So I'm just going to grab the sleeve from this cardigan that I've been measuring. What I need to do is chain as much as big as the sleeve. And then this is a baby cardigan. So what we're going to do is we're just going to crochet straight. And then sew, and then again crochet the edges from here and finish it. So what all, all you need to do is just chain as around this uh, sleeve. Chain as uh, many chains as you need. And then as uh, you could go back to the beginning of this uh, tutorial how I started doing uh, the beginning from here and then we're gonna it's the same way doing the sleeves so um, I'll meet you later after I finish uh, the sleeves it's it's been uh, almost 10 days I've been working on this uh, card again so uh, I'm sure it's gonna turn out gorgeous and uh, I'll meet you later a couple of days later <laughs> <laughs> to uh, so uh, to join the sleeves around this area. So again, um, it's going to be straight, but as you can see, this area is a pretty big. So when we do the chain, this is go not going to be enough. So what we're going to do is we're going to be increasing from the sides, from the sides, and. Uh, I'll show you how to do that when I get closer. I just want to show you how I did it. Um, uh, I said to de increase. We're not increasing, we're decreasing. I do apologize. So what I did is I measured uh, the sleeve and I started to crochet all the way up to uh, the underarm. Just uh, figure out how long you would like your, uh, your sleeves to be. And here, what I did here is uh, because of the underarm, we always uh, decrease. So what I did is I decreased a couple of uh, uh, crocodile stitches here, like one, two, three total. And then I did that the, the other side. And when you fold it, when you fold it, it's going to be like this. So when you're sewing it, it would be like this. Okay, so uh, I'm assuming you guys know how to uh, make garments. So uh, with that uh, knowledge, that's how you do it. So I'm going to show you on the second sleeve that I have already started. We're almost done. <laughs> okay, so what, uh, what we're doing is, as I did the underarm, remember? We uh, decreased. So just skip the, just skip this, uh, okay, I hope it's not blurry. So we just skip the stitch here and then uh, continue crocheting and going back and forth. And then here, skipping uh, one uh, cro crocodile stitch and continue back and forth. So uh, just continue doing like that. A uh, total of, I did three, but if you're doing an adult, it would be different, I'm assuming. Uh, you can go, you can increase uh, two crocodile stitches here. And then for adults, go one, one. And then uh, work on the sleeves. So I'll, uh, I'm almost done. I sewed my buttons. So just continue finishing and uh, like I showed you how to join, uh, just crochet, single stitch, chain of two, single stitch and then, and then uh, join the sleeves with the underarm and I'll meet you later with the finished look. I have finished the crocodile stitch cardigan. <laughs> Doesn't it look gorgeous? I have... Uh, I have crocheted the edges and then um, from the underarm I have uh, joined the sleeve and this is the finished look.
I think it turned out pretty good. So, uh, uh, I also made the baby booty to match it. This is a pattern that I bought from BonitaPatterns.com. Uh, this is her pattern. And if you want to buy it, you're welcome to buy it from her site. It's a great pattern. Okay, so uh, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. It was very tough. It was very challenging to watch this. You need to have some knowledge of uh, crocheting or knitting to make this cardigan because I did it with measurements. But I am thinking of making a pattern, uh, thinking to write, sit down and write a pattern. If you want, I, I am happy to assist. If you, if you want to get a pattern, then what you can do is you can write it on the bottom uh, underneath here and then uh, on the comments if I get a lot of uh, uh, pattern requests I can do that no problem at all and this is how it looks like <laughs> from the side oh it's cute and uh, if I get a lot of comments I will sit down and write a pattern and I will message individual ones that who wants a pattern and I can email the pattern with a charge of $5 I'm assuming uh, this is a very tough uh, uh, it took me two weeks to cr crochet uh, to create this uh, card again it was my first challenge and I think it turned out pretty good don't you think so Okay, so please do not forget to subscribe, share it with your family and your friends, my tutorials. And I am doing a giveaway, a huge box of yarn uh, for, for my 5,000 uh, subscribers. And uh, I'm going to do another giveaway for my 10,000 subscribers. I will make a uh, video about that as soon as I ship this huge box. But for the 10,000, I am thinking of giving away 10... <laughs> 10 packages of yarn. Okay, well, thank you very much. This is Frida. I really enjoyed uh, creating this crocodile stitch card again. And uh, I wish you the best. Thank you. Bye bye.